It's going to kick your forward-loving boys behind, huh. just like they did in 97 and 98 and... Huh. But, but, and, and, and what about 99, oh, huh? Oh, A Ford oh, yeah. 1, 2, oh, and 3. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that was some reach. Oh, Zach, Jesse, come on in, guys. What's going on, Grandpa? Oh, me and your Grandpa Baker... We're just talking about the Westington Cup. Yeah. Now, see, every year, there's races all over town. <laughs> yeah, Fords versus Chevys, it is. When the Chevys, whoop the Fords! Ha! Oh, boy. Hey, you gonna watch it on TV with us, boys? Come on, it'll be fun. Yeah, come on. Okay. Here's Tom with a look at the history of the race. Tom. Thanks, Gary. No one really knows why the Ford versus Chevy rivalry, which is at the heart of the Westington Cup, really started. But it's... Dang TV mouthpiece. Uh -huh. We all know it started when that fool Eddie Olson said his Chevrolet 490 was faster than Tyrone Baker's Model T. Oh, don't go listen to your Grandpa Baker, kids. His joints is rattling loose. They ain't rattling. Now, I'm watching the TV. kicks off with a modern muscle class with a driver's race a lineup of now you pay attention kids because you'll want to remember this so you can tell your grandkids yeah. about the first time you saw the westington cup yep. and how it was a ford that won chevy you mean a chevy uh -uh. I the whole odd This is going to wind up being an expensive race. Let's hope we've seen the last of that kind of driving. Oh, that's a great move there! And that takes real skill to pull off. What a move! Driving? 
ever, well, there's still time for a comeback. Now that's just showing off. Competition's already tough. Driving a damaged car will really hold him back. He's making no progress. He should just retire now with whatever dignity he has left. And he's caught some big air! <laughs> Worst driving ever. Well, there's still time for a comeback. in the world. Yeah, well, my guess is he's used to it by now. Well, he's been tailing the pack for a while now. Let's hope he pulls it together before the finish. It's a testament to his skill and the Ford's design that he can still compete. Tough enough to compete in the Westington Cup, but to do it in a car that's that damaged, well, that takes guts. Well, he's been tailing the pack for a while now. Let's hope he pulls it together before the finish. Oh, that's a great move there! Crab. 
And that's gotta be an illegal move. The partial It looked okay to me, Gary. Retire now with whatever dignity he has left. Competition's already tough. Driving a damaged car will really hold him back. This man has no shame. He should retire now. This is amazing driving. Surely any other driver would have simply given up, but he's battling on. in the world. Yeah, well, my guess is he's used to it by now. This man has no shame. He should retire now. 